Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from PC Addicts and I am attempting to get some stable shots using this stabilizer I just bought. It's a Raxent, I think that's how you pronounce it. Raxent, I don't have the model number on me, it's in the house. But I'll post it down in the details and everything. But um, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly priced stabilizer. I think it was like 60 bucks, not too shabby. Um, it's for cameras up to 2.1 uh, 2 pounds. Of course, this GoPro isn't that heavy. The one I'm shooting with, the Nikon D750, is uh, a little less than that, I think. But um, right now, I'm just concerned with trying to get some shots with this GoPro. So I'm going to do some, some clips first with just using this. And then I'm going to take this off and just use it handheld, trying to be stable. And we're going to be shooting some of the dogs over here um, that are jumping off the dock into the pool. So we'll see what we're getting here. So as you can see, I'm walking. It's keeping it pretty stable. Now some people have this tight. So I can tighten this up, this handle. And some people like to use it loose. And then some people like to have it in between. Um, I'm gonna try leaving it loose, leave my hand on, I don't know, maybe up here, just to try to help keep it forward. It's my first attempt really of using this thing. So let's see what we got here. We got, oh, I don't know if I kept up. I think that was a little too fast. But there's Lindy Lou, enjoying a jump and a swim. I think they're gonna do it again and we'll see how it's gonna work out. So far, it's not too shabby. It's comfortable to hold. It's a little wobbly. I think I have too much weight on it at the moment. I think with the lighter, with the GoPro says it's so light, I probably don't need this much weight. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see if I can get some decent stable shots. Some people do put their hands underneath and hold it like this as well. All right. What do you think, Lindy Lou? We getting some video here, huh? All right. So that's with it on. Let's go ahead and take it off. I'm just gonna unclip it right here. Set this sucker down. We're trying to do it handheld and just see what the difference is. Maybe I'll put them side by side. This isn't too bad either. But I can feel I'm shaking a little bit more than probably what was being held there. So let's see what we're doing here. Here goes dog. Ooh. That was a really nice jump, by the way. <laughs> that looked really good. Too bad I wasn't measuring at the time. Well, there's Lindy Lou. Let's see, I can, feel my, I can feel myself shaking almost like I had too much coffee, but I haven't had coffee for hours today, so. So there we go. And uh, that's, that's the, uh, the Rexent. I forgot the model number, sorry. But uh, definitely I'll have it down below. And um, just real quick too, and I'll probably post this later. You can adjust the weights. You can adjust them down lower, depending on where, what, what size camera, where the camera's placed. You can place your camera, this one, you can place forward and back, and pretty much all along here. You can adjust where the handle goes. Um, I just have it set up like this, just because that's out of the first spot I tried it. And that seemed actually to work pretty well. So anyways, we're gonna give this a shot. We got a wedding to shoot Saturday. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting with the D750. And then uh, as well as my stepson's gonna be shooting with his, he's got a newer GoPro. Um, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what kind of shots we can get. All right guys, later.